Hi! I'm back with Tiny Bunny. I just want to try and finish it. I don't know how long this damn game is, but I mean, I love the art. I don't specifically have any idea why this bunny is in a jacket. First of all, is this going to be little Anton? <clears throat> Maybe. Does he turn into one of the animals? Oh my god, did I just find out the- I'm gonna be mad if I just find out the whole plot line in my head. Never mind. I'm not telling you. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's load it up. And I'm sorry to say that, um, I won't be singing as much lately because my tonsils are now very, very bad and I can't exactly sing hardly at all, so I'm going to try and maybe fill that in with more videos. <laughs> Alright, so we're in here, right? I was hoping it would be like a picture of MJ, my man, and then this would be like a picture of MJ, my man, and then be this. Ooh. My tri- oh wait, I clicked on this, but my Triceratops figurine. I know about all sorts of dinosaurs, Velociraptors, Afrovenators. Afrovenators? Afrovenators? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Hypsilophodonts? I mean, I'm not sure if these two are really real. I know this is, but it's not what you think. It's not like Jurassic Park, okay? I love Jurassic Park, and I love that they change them into what they are, the big, like, chompy chompies, like, scary, smart, etc. But they were, like, everyone says, the size of turkeys, and they got feathers, and more wing-like things than, like, the little, like, crawly arms. Meow, meow. So, um, yeah. But I used to know all the names, too. Uh, Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, Allosaurus, you know, Spinosaurus. I remember going to the movies to see Jurassic Park back when we still <laughs> lived in the city and taking pictures with the T-Rex in the hall. Oh, I wish I had a T-Rex in the hall. It turned its head and roared. Roared. It was awesome. And next it and next to it was a Robotech Transformer. I love this cartoon. When a jet fighter speeds up in, in the intro among the sounds of blaster fire, you know your next 20 minutes will surely be amazing. Alright, yeah, I'm starting to like this kid a little bit more. <laughs> uh, Zentraity Space Station is captured. Rick, get ready for battle! I've dreamt of becoming an artist since Dad bought me my first comic book. Fly Magazine was the coolest. I especially liked the big space-related edition with alien monsters and that funny episode about a gendarme. Or gendarme. I started drawing all kinds of stuff since that day, and I seem to be getting pretty good at it. Yeah, he is pretty good. Look at this shit. That's crazy. One of my letters even got published in Fly once. What, boy? Maybe someday they'll even publish my comic? Probably. The forest didn't look as grim during the day. Entangled tree- Oh, here we go with this oh, George R. R. Martin shit. Entangled tree br- Kitty, are you in kitty jail trying to break out? And by kitty jail, I mean, he has a tunnel system, and it goes into a box that he can completely get out of. So, I don't mean he's in a cage. He's in a toy. But I call it kitty jail because it's so cute. Because when he's in the box, there's a mesh side, and you can see through it, and he's just, like, sitting in the box, like... And I'm like, oh, he's in kitty jail! He's either in kitty jail, or sometimes he's in, like, you know, the kitty, like, psych ward. Because <laughs> then he tries to break out, and he's tunneling out of jail. Anyway, talk about my cat too damn much, don't worry. That was him breaking out of jail, though. 
and tangled tree branches in the distance, and the snowy field between our house and forest brought sleepiness to my eyes, but sometimes I would still catch myself looking in the window at the icy treetops instead of doing my homework. I don't want to click on any more because I'm tired already of the reading! Please! One of the drawers was empty. I hid them in there. Can I open it? Keep it unlocked! Run for your life! I thought I... S well, no, I stayed and I got the mitten. I wonder what I would have got next time. This simple action drained the last bit of strength for me. <sighs> Sat on the bed. Oh shit, I forgot she was there in the last one! <laughs> I even clicked on the curtains! I saw her ass there last time, and only then I noticed there was someone behind the curtains. My tired hand dropped to the sheets. The sheets will protect you. Uh, whether it was due to the medication, I, did he take medication? Or the stress I underwent, the room began to contort as if the wind was blowing the walls out like a pair of sails. That's called LSD. The room's corners bent and undulated. LSD. The only stable thing in the whole room was the figure between the window seal and the curtains. It's obviously Olya. A flimsy piece of cloth was stuck to my hidden visitor. Just like a savant of sorts. Olya? Who else would be standing there? I stood up and licked my dried up lips. Yeah, Olya, it's so funny. The silhouette was unmoving. It was enveloped softly by the curtains. As if there- I'm not getting scared. I know it's Olya. As if there was a thick layer of darkness there, not a human being. I reached toward the curtains. Ba-dum. Ba-dum. Beat my heart. Controlled by medication. The wind sang in the field with a chorus of voices. Ah, you're fucked. Ah, you're fucked. Ah, <laughs> that was the chorus of voices, by the way. <laughs> For a second, I wanted to return to the bed, just lie down, and watch the person behind the curtain, knowing full well they're looking back at me. They're looking at a curtain or the window. <laughs> they're looking without blinking, waiting for me to fall asleep. Nobody looks without blinking except for, like, geckos, but they lick their eyeballs. Plastic rings rustled against the holder. No, wait, can geckos blink? Geckos might be able to blink. I had a leopard gecko as a child, and he lived to be very old. But, uh, I can't even remember if he blinked. Guess what his name was? Yes. Gecky. <laughs> um, plastic rings rustled against the holder when I pulled open the curtains. Olya and her cute little face. Gotcha! I knew it was you from the beginning. We all did, you cute little son of a bitch. Oh, sorry, I was looking at something over here. I, was, I thought she was, like, sprouting something. Oh, she's sad that you got her. A blindingly bright... What? A blindingly bright halo lit up above Olya's head with the setting sun as the background. Oh, okay. When she was in the window. That's so mean, though. But she doesn't know what's going on with them. But still, she's all scared herself, and she's gonna be pulling that shit on people. <laughs> she just wants them to feel how she feels. My sister was shining. When she was just a baby, Dad always used to say she was shining with happiness. I always retorted, but Dad, she's not some flashlight. But I brought her to the window one day, and sunlight poured on her smiling face. I felt like I was holding a child woven from light. Oh, what a little cutie. I told you she was the cutest. I saw everything. Oh, really? What did you hide? She was just like my mom when she was little. Before she put on her sad mask of tiredness and switched to her commanding tone of voice. It's nothing, just... Oh, you ran up to the table, her eyes round, and asked, You stole something and hid it there! Are you a thief? What? Don't be stupid. 
I didn't steal anything. A clear image came to mind, that mitten hanging from the tree branch. That wasn't a clear image at all. That was a little bit blinky, and like I said, LSD. But what if I did steal it after all? What, and the kid in the forest was trying to get it back? From the forest, from the tilted figure standing behind the black trees, Olya could be selfish and stubborn when she wanted. Then show me! Swear that you won't tell anyone, then I'll show you. <clears throat> Olya wore a plotting smile. Still cute. Kinda creepy, but still cute. I swear on Mom's heart. An oath she heard in one of the movies about pioneers we watched. Don't say things like that. Yeah, why are you swearing on someone else's heart? That's a little messed up. Olya nodded and made a gesture with her hand, locking her mouth with an imaginary key. She was filled with curiosity. I know y'all want it. <laughs> she was filled with curiosity that was splashing in her giant eyes. She's probably so, like, shocked. Like, oh, a mitten. Oh. All right. I opened the drawer, and Olya leaned in, holding her breath. It looked, it looked like there was not just a simple mitten, but some sort of exotic critter. Is this someone's mitten? She said that as if, as if she couldn't understand what she saw. A certain boy lost it, and got lost himself. Now, you do understand how dangerous it is for kids to wander into the forest, right? He must be really cold out there. Will they find him? They will. Dead or alive. Sorry, I'm in a mood tonight. <laughs> I need to chill out. The police are going house to house, showing his photo to everybody. Olya traversed the room with care and pressed her tiny palms against the window. And why are they going to houses and not the forest? Are they scared? The question caught me off guard. Caught me off guard a little bit too. <laughs> the police aren't scared of anything. Yeah, right. It flashed in my clouded mind. Did they really check every nook and cranny? Where darkness, cold, and whispers of icy branches dwell? Probably not. One time, <laughs> the police were looking for someone behind uh, where a business where I worked, and there was, <laughs> and I was watching them. There was like four of them, and they were like, ah, like searching and shit. And then they take like two steps into the bushes, <laughs> like two of them at once. And one of them goes, ah, pricker bushes, and the other one was like, ah, oh, there is pricker bushes. And literally, like, just turned around and ended their search. Like, so some thorns, and they were done. So yeah, they probably didn't check every nook and cranny, cold, dark, icy branch place. I'm telling you. <laughs> if there's pricker bushes, man, they ain't coming to get you. They were like, that man deserves his escape. He ran through all these pricker bushes, and he wasn't in a uniform with a bulletproof vest. <laughs> If that's the case, how did they miss the mitten? Or did it appear later for me? I changed the topic. As if trying to get Olya as far away as possible from the forest thicket. We may get a reward if I go and find this boy myself. A lot of stuff, like in Field of Wonders. Sounds cool, right? Olya wasn't listening to me. She was piercing the forest with incredibly adult eyes, uncharacteristic for her. Or mouth open. What if the owl got in? Nonsense. An owl wouldn't be able to lift a human. But you know what? I was picking my words with utmost care. I forced them out of my overexerted brain. Stay away from the forest. I think it's... I think it's... How should I put it? It's cursed or something. Just like in a fairy tale? No, not like that. More like then that spooky tape mom and dad are hiding from us. Yeah, I see why they hide now. Oya shivered and stole a glance at the window. Are these the originators of the ring footage? A 
Oh wait, I think in another game I played. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that this game had a well in it, and so I pieced together the ring footage, but that was something else. But anyway, whatever. I saw you running away. Was someone chasing you? No, it's just I was hurrying back home so mom wouldn't be worried. As I looked at my sister, my heart was tearing apart. She was so fragile. It's so easy to stifle her light. A gust of wind and her small fire would be gone. You're lucky. Mom won't even let me go outside. How do you not let your kids go outside? I was never inside as a kid, ever. Ask my parents. I knew when it was started to get dark that I gotta make my way out of the woods and come home. That was it. Porch light comes on, I see it through the trees, and I'm like, all right, time to go. Other than that, straight from school, changed my clothes, put my boots on, went out in the woods. Made a bunch of crazy stuff, found a bunch of crazy stuff. <laughs> Uh, one time I found a whole cow skeleton, like, in a tree branch, and I used to imagine that, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's mountain lions, I definitely saw coyotes, but I think maybe a mountain lion put it up there, I don't know, but how could it lift a whole cow, so the cow must have been, like, decomposed already or something, but there was definitely a cow skeleton over a branch decomposing in a tree. Um... I'm like a princess in the tower. I can't go anywhere. I'll die from boredom here. You're wrong. No one has ever died from boredom. And you have me and your cartoons, and mom and dad will be good to each other soon. You know what I would wish for on my next birthday? I'd wish for mom and dad to turn into children so we could go and play together like we used to. Yeah, and if you make them as small as bugs, we could place them in a little box. Yeah, <laughs> he is twisted, I told you. He likes it too, though. Olya giggled and tugged at my sleeve. Tony, let's go watch Aladdin. I ain't never had a friend like me. Can your friend do this? Can your friend do that? Can your friend pull this? Out of his little hat. Can your friend go out of the front out of his hand and then make it so you disappear? <laughs> Fatigue won over my desire to be with my little sister. I was washed over by some sort of heinous apathy. I'm too tired. I don't want to. Come on. It's so boring alone, and mom is always busy. What the hell is this? We can pick a cartoon you haven't seen before. I know all of our tapes by heart at this point. Not all of them. You haven't watched Peter Pan. Remember how you fell asleep in the middle of it? And so much happens after that. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe a bit later. Should I tell you how it ends? Let's leave that for tomorrow. I won't tell you tomorrow. I know. Let's play hide and seek. No, Oya. Then draw me a dino. Oh yeah, please. Draw it, draw it! Will you leave me alone already? I blurted it out without thinking, and then I was immediately taken aback. I'd never screamed at my little sister like that. Oya stared at me in shock. Her lips started trembling, a precursor to tears. My chest was seething with disgust and embarrassment. What's happening to me? Oh wait, does she have a bunny on her? She totally does. I heard. I don't. I was trying to think if I put the. I, I think you guys can see the cursor, but yeah, she got a little bunny down here on her, uh, like on her stomach. I hurried to prevent Olya from crying. All right, you win. Let's go watch cartoons for a bit. I don't wanna. I came up to her and I put my hand on her soft head. Let's go. Let's go watch Peter Pan. Ooh, you'll fall asleep again. I smiled and lifted her chin. Her eyes were wet and felt bottomless. I promise I won't. And I'll draw you a full Triceratops later. Hooray! Triceratops? Well, close enough. Oya rubbed her eyes with the sleeve of her pajamas and a shining smile returned to her face. 
I'll go ask mom for some condensed milk and bread and you'll rewind the tape. The bread is fresh, just how you like it. Alright, just be careful not to spill the milk, or you'll be yelled at again. Wanna bet I won't spill it? The tape is somewhere in the nightstand. Look for it. Olya disappeared into the doorway and I dragged my feet into the neighboring room. Olya is saving money for a real puppy because dad said that taking care of him will take a lot of money. Olya's countless toys. An old teddy bear is the main attraction here. Whoops. An old te- Olya doesn't sleep without it. Oops, that was going on my mouse. She digs her nose into its fur when she sleeps. Nothing about the creepy doll or the sewing machine. What is that? Oh. I didn't even have this on loud enough to do this. Really? So I guess it makes noise if you click on it, but I wasn't paying attention to that. The only thing I can do is turn this bitch on! The old Photon TV was gathering dust in the corner. All that was left was clicking the button on the front panel. Can I click it? Oh, it's right there! I wanted to click it. Oh, you mean this. <laughs> it shouldn't allow me to click it. <laughs> the tube warmed up with a familiar white noise and started dancing on the black screen. How do you know it's not black on white? I almost reached out to turn on the VCR when the noise calmed down and a blurry image appeared for a moment. The forest. It was a dark taiga forest. Just like the one outside my window. Just a few moments later and the scenery was again overshadowed by noise. I have no idea what the is. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, no! Are you sure you want to quit? Definitely don't hit yes. Definitely continue. Just a few moments later, the scene... Is this someone crying? What is this? The scenery was again overshadowed by noise. Did it catch some rogue signal? Local TV station only really showed Soviet cartoons, and even that was pretty rare. Didn't you notice that was the woods? And only just recently I used to watch Robotech before school. It was so awesome. Maybe I should tinker with the antenna. What if I catch a channel again? On the other hand, all you had asked me to find the tape. It wouldn't be nice to disappoint her. But in my sleepy state, I didn't have the strength to do all of it. What kind of drugs is he on? Oh damn it! I didn't mean I had the choice to not die! Can I go back? Oh, what is that? Is this a redo button? What happens if I hit that? Come on, is it gonna... I thought that said paranoia. Is this gonna... Oh, they're watching Predator? Predator? What the... <sighs> this is through the shelves of dolls. Man, I wanted to set the TV. Can I go back? Ah! Found the tape I needed, then just a shabby spine. I wanted some spooky. I got the black rectangle from its box. Achievement Unlocked Neverland. I wanted Achievement Unlocked to blow my face out with scary. The table inside it rustled while rewinding to the beginning. This rustle was lulling me to sleep. Drowsiness attacked me while I was squatting before the TV. Images whirled in my head. Head. That's really hard to read. 
me and or just because the rest of this Just because the rest of this is like images swirled in my head. Me and Olya flying above the forest, tumbling in the soft clouds. My little sister is laughing, but her smile becomes more and more forced with every passing second. I notice that the clouds underneath us part, bearing the bristly pine tops. Swampy darkness slurp among the trees. The wings are no longer available to hold wings? are no longer available to hold us and Olya. You haven't started without me, have you? Oh, look at her face. She spilled the milk. Not all the way. I wouldn't count that as spilling. It didn't dr drip down here yet. My sister brought the tray with an unevenly cut bread and a whole can of condensed milk. I rubbed my eyes. No, come sit. Mom and Dad are arguing again. They're going through rough times. Rough times are lame. On the screen, Wendy was hiding Peter Pan's shadow into the dresser. Olya was entertained by the cartoonish dog, Nana. Miss Tinkerbell. Alligator. That's not. Maybe Mom and Dad will buy us a dog, too. Yeah, right. I'll have my own dog in the Neverland, and a cat, and a pair. Oh my god, is she gonna turn into the bunny, and it's not gonna be Anton? Something's gonna go on, because look, she has the downward pigtails that look like ears. She got the bunny on her stomach. Maybe I misinterpreted the jacket, and that's just her snow jacket? But I thought it was Anton's. I'll have my own dog in the Neverland, and a cat, and a pair. Oya smeared a slice of bread with a thick layer of condensed milk and handed it to me. What the hell? People eat that? I've never eaten that. Just toast your bread and drink your milk with some tea? Have you lost all of your baby teeth? Obviously. Oya frowned deep in thought. Peter Pan has baby teeth. What if they won't let you go to his land without with adult teeth? We'll think of something. We'll ask Dad to alter your age in the passport. And why would Dad forge documents? Olya well, took a bite from his sandwich and started talking with her mouth full. He will. He will, Mom, that they did not before. You'll grow ears as big as Zumbo's. Or as big and tall as a bunny rabbit. Oya oh, got worried and touched her ear. I smiled to myself. My little sister was silent. Now she just devoured bread, watching the adventures of Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and James Hook. As if she got sucked into the fairy tale Neverland. To be honest, I also imagined myself there, in a land where one never ages, where no one argues over little things, where no one listens to fights, and the sound of broken plates at night. Wow, um, they're really fighting. I felt like I was dreaming with my eyes still open, and then my sister's scream pulled me back to reality. Tony, shut the curtains fast! Why? No one's watching you! Oh. <laughs> no one's watching you! It's dark, and when it's dark, the owl comes! I'm... I'm scared. I got out of bed, fighting my drowsiness, and closed the curtains. They look closed to begin with. Can I open them again? Oh, shit. I did my best not to look outside toward the treetops, toward the taiga forest, which seemingly drew closer and closer. Of course, it was just the visual effect from shadows of branches scraping against the snow. Tony, Mom thinks I made the owl up. You know what, I should save before this and try this out. I wonder if this is a redoing of an old thing and I could have tried the TV set. But I can't do that now. Maybe after I save this one, I'll go back to my original save and see what happens. Tony, Mom thinks I made the owl up. And Dad, too. Thinks I'm a liar since I'm small. But 
the owl exists. Honestly, honestly it does. You do believe me, right? That it comes every night and and I swiftly grabbed Oli's hand and looked her in the eyes. Why doesn't he stay in her room at night one time? I was trying to transfer at least some of my courage and determination. But did I really have those qualities? He got crazy. Yes, I believe you, alright? Just don't nag our parents about it anymore. They're already dealing with a lot, so they'll just get mad at you. You come and tell me if anything happens. And don't look out the window. But it wants me to look! Doesn't matter! Act like it doesn't exist and never existed, like it's made up, just like mom and dad said. It'll get tired of waiting and fly away. That's okay advice, I guess. At least, like, when you're a child, you know, if she's really insisting that it's there, then they're not just straight up being like, eh, you're a kid, like, you know, you're imagining it. Like every other person or game, you know, at least he's acknowledging it, you know, to some extent and giving decent advice. Even though he should just stay in the room with her. <laughs> it was madness, but after everything that's happened recently, I was more and more inclined to believe always Al existed. Oh, I thought I saw something over here. We followed Peter Pan's adventures as if nothing had happened, as if the forest didn't kidnap kids, as if our parents weren't tearing each other apart bit by bit, Captain Hook was running away from a crocodile, and Captain Pan was headed to London on a gilded sailboat. Oopsie. I'm gonna save though, just in case. By some miracle, I lasted longer than my little sister. Oya's eyelids had dropped, and she started snorting lightly, resting her chin on the side of the bed. I stood up and left Oya's room. I was looking out the window, studying the field, when Mom peeked into my room. Enough playing around. It's your first day at school tomorrow. Go to bed, you should sleep properly. You don't want to be teased for being sleepy, right? Why is she so hot, though? Like... Adults think everything is so simple, as if sound sleep would ensure my classmates would like me. I covered myself with a blanket up to my neck and listened to the house coming, to something invisible rustling in the corners. My inner voice had a question for me. Do I want to hear that mysterious flute again? Yes or no? Maybe it's just part of growing up and I can't fully understand my own desires. The forest wailed behind the barrier that was my walls. Some ethereal energy wandered the fields. Branches shook as if calling for me. The wind howled on and on in the night. My thoughts were like annoying flies that entered my head before becoming weak and tangled. I didn't notice how I fell into a slumber. Thank you for completing... It's like, it's hailing outside, so there's tapping at my window. Um, thank you for completing episode one of Tiny Bunny. Did you enjoy it? Do you want to know what happens next? We're already working hard on the continuation of the story. Oh, I don't get to find out what happens? Is he Peter Pan? I do want to know what happens next. What is it? Jesus. Oh! Is this just a game? English or Pikachu? What's going on? I'm scared English. Can you guys even see this? Buy the game on scene. Everything. Wait, what? Horror visual novel developed by Mars People Games, based on a story by Dimitri Mortis, takes place in a quiet road town surrounded by forests. Children begin suddenly disappearing. The main character finds himself dragged into the events.
Oh, damn. There's going to be more? Polina, 12 years old. Anton's classmate. Okay. So, I'm going to have to buy the game. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to do that. Sometime. Sometime when I got money. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so... What does this do? Oh, it just takes me back to this. So I wonder if there's more. So if I buy the game, then... Do I get to read the rest? I mean, it's moving very slowly, which kills me because I'm, like, psychotic. But I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm doing it for you. Because, honestly, I probably would not... If I hadn't already started this... Like, I'm a finisher. <laughs> I don't care how good that sounds, or I mean how bad that sounds, or how good. I'm a finisher. If I start something, I finish it. So, there you go. But anyway, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like Olya is going to become this bunny. Um, I thought it was Anton. Now I'm starting to think it's her. I'm talking about her ears. Um... But the English or Pikachu really had me, like, that's weird. Um, but yeah, so, let me see what the credits look like. Ooh, that was cool. Mars People Games. Based on a short horror story, short, <laughs> from Dimitri Mortis. Planet. Look at these new names. Psycho, no, Vladimir, it's a Nikita, I like that name, Elemental, Ikonon, Ichnon, Ikonon, this guy looks like he did a lot, Evgeny Sokorev, Evgeny Sokorev, Prude, Really? Proof reading. But there's a D. Proof reading. Insane chronos. Insane chronos. Do just a slightly better job. <laughs> I love ya, but slightly better. I mean, is that a joke? It has to be. Look, they got scenario, they got programming. They got English translation, but really, crude reading, that has to be a joke. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. But anyway, I am going to go. What do you hear? Did you guys hear this music? I might leave this on while I go to sleep. Maybe not. Alright, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go, so I will see you next time, and if you have suggestions for stuff you want to see me play, um, just send me a message, or you don't even have to send me a message, you can just comment, so I will look at them, I don't get to my knee right now, so I'll definitely see it, but um, definitely, um, I really want to continue this game, because like I said, I really am like a finisher, I know whatever I said, I made a joke about it, but um, I do want to finish it, so I will try to find it and get it, um, and if nobody told you this today, I love ya, and I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye!